Hey everybody, this is Nicole McWork and welcome to another Scrap It Weekly. This week I have a layout featuring a hand-stitched tag from Amy Tangerine, so let's get to it. This week, since we're very close to Valentine's Day, I thought I would go ahead and focus on a love-themed page. These photos of my youngest son are not necessarily from Valentine's Day, but they were taken in the month of February here a couple years ago. And the story and the theme that I want to tell for this page kind of gives way to creating a love-themed page. And I want to show how you can use your um, hearts and things like that any time of the year. So my color choices very much reflect love and Valentine's Day, but can be used for any themed page. I have already printed out my photos in a collage template here. This is a template by Carrie Bradford. And in your photo editing software, you simply drop your photos in, you resize them, drop them into the frame, and it ma you can mask them off this way. So it creates this really lovely grid effect. And what I love about her m templates is that you can fit so many photos onto one relatively small little piece of photo paper. And I love that it, you can do strips. I do a lot of them this uh, vertically as well as horizontally. And um, there's just all kinds of different ones that you can use. Plus there's some even sized for like project life projects and things like that. So I have eight photos in this photo collage, which I absolutely love. So I was able to fit a whole bunch of photos of my son making all kinds of different faces and mad faces and things like that. So the, that's my photos for the page. And then I really want to, I guess I should start with what started my page after I picked my photos is this awesome handmade, <coughs> excuse me, tag by Amy Tangerine. And these are exclusive to two, two, two peas in a bucket right now. And they are hand sewn, as you can see here, awesome tags. If you are a Studio Calico kit member, you might remember she did one that said smile and it was in one of their past kits here a few months ago. Um, I use that in my Project Life title page for this year. I love these tags. Um, I have another one that I'm going to do a project with here soon that says XOXO in red. So there are all kinds of these tags at Two Peas in a Bucket and I urge you to check them out if you like adding that homemade feel to your pages. These are really excellent. So this kind of was what I centered my page around. I thought it would make a darling title paired with some stamps to kind of complete the whole little title and tag look. So I'll share that in a little bit, more about that in a little bit. My papers, I did choose some papers from AB Tangerine that I have just, just not gotten a chance to use. And this is a stitched paper, which I haven't even taken it out of the package, is this really wonderful weighty cardstock that has a stitched element on it. Now, for my particular page, I'm actually, I don't think I'm going to use this part of it. I originally wanted to, just because I want, thought it would be cute, the heart would be cute paired with the tag. But the color of the heart doesn't isn't really what I think I want to use. I was going to go more for reds instead of the pink. But I might change my mind, I'm not sure. But I'm going to cut a strip, I believe, from this, because I just really like that gray and cream and the little person all the way across and how when their arms connect it makes little hearts. So that'll just kind of lends itself to the theme of the page. Now I'm not going to be using this green paper. This is also Amy Tangerine for American Crafts. But what I liked was I was drawn to the little strip here at the bottom. I love that the, a lot of companies are creating a little strip of pattern paper that's perforated that, or that you can cut off, it just depends on the company, where on one side they have all the details about what kind of paper this is and all of that and what line it's from, but the other side is patterned and I loved that gray with the cream distressed heart border. So I'm going to be using that border there. 
And then my favorite, favorite, and kind of probably is going to be predominant on my page, is this awesome fabric paper, also from Maybe Tangerine for American Crafts. And it is a fabric paper, so it's pretty weighty. Awesome for die cutting and things like that, but it is in a great black and cream chevron design. I just really love that. It has great texture. It's really fun. So you can kind of see, I guess maybe if I cover up my green here a little bit, how great those look together. So that's a lot of black and gray and cream, and I tend to go for more color in my pages. This would be lovely and pretty, and I could probably pair it with some cream cardstock, and I also pulled out some gray cardstock here, and it would make a great page. But I really want to add a little bit more color to my page, and so I also pulled out from the crepe paper ran or I'm sorry, the crepe paper paper heart collection, which is kind of their Valentine's themed collection this year. I pulled out some pattern papers from that, and this is a lovely. It kind of looks like a red doily type design. That's the B side. The A side is this really pretty pink on pink heart, but I'm going to be using the red. So I'll show how that looks with my paper choices there. And then I did pull, let's see, oh, here's my other red paper I pulled out. I thought it would be fun to maybe cut a thin strip from this and have this kind of red on bright pink polka dot, or red on red polka dot, I guess it, it is. So I have that one. And then I also have, I pulled up this one. It's also from the Paper Heart Collection. It is kind of a cream with a pink, uh, paper look, you know, the lined paper. And even though this is pink, I really like how it looks with all of this. And it would give me a great place to add some journaling for my page. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to use it yet or not, but I did go ahead and pull it out because I really liked it with this. And then just to add a little bit more of a textured and fun feel, I've also pulled out this great um, text paper from October afternoon and this is from an old collection the Cherry Hill collection I've had it forever well I actually have several of these sheets I had used the original several several years ago I had done a page I absolutely loved maybe I'll link it up here it's about reading the Twilight books actually and I put this use the text paper in the background because I thought it was great for things about reading but I love text and book design paper for any type of project. I just really like the, how text lends itself to pages and designs. So I was going through my October afternoon file and I saw this and I have still have several sheets of it so I thought oh I'll try to incorporate that, incorporate that into my design as well. So I really like how all of this looks together. So those are my papers. Next I have pulled out my embellishments, which of course is this a Amy Tangerine hand stitch tag like I shared a little bit ago. I also have a couple of sheets of stickers from the Crate Paper Paper Heart Collection. There's borders and labels and all of that. I pulled out this. It's from a collection from American Crafts from a year or two ago and it has kind of Valentine's and heart themed stickers that I thought maybe might be fun to incorporate here or there. I'm not sure if I'll use them or not. I also grabbed these chipboard thickers <clears throat> from American Crafts. I've used this particular font several times already. I love it. I love the font. I loved the texture. I like the design kind of gray with a little white pattern to it. I love everything about this one. So I'm thinking I'm going to add like my son's initial and probably his uh, a sticker for his age. Then I always like to use my stamps on my pages. Well maybe I'll talk about some of my other my, the die cuts and things I'm going to use first. I have pulled out excuse me quite a few tools today. And what I'm thinking is I love these hexagons uh, die cuts from Sizzix 
This is the two inch hexagons, and I thought this might be a fun element to die cut either the fabric paper and some of my pattern papers and things from this, just to make an interesting background, a little bit more interesting than just cutting strips of paper or whatever. And then I wanted to add hearts because this is a, my love themed design. And so I have this die from My Favorite Things. This is one of my favorites. I use it a lot. I really love the largest sized heart here. It's just the perfect size for embellishments on pages and cards and things like that. I just really like the design of this one. I also have my scalloped heart punch and um, my regular, just kind of traditional heart punch. I am not, I know this one was for Stampin' Up. I'm not sure that this one is or not. But I really love how these work together. And I'm a, these are some of my most often used heart tools as well. I also pulled out all of these um, washi tapes just because I think it would be fun to layer them on some cardstock or whatever and then die cut them or punch them out just for some interesting kind of textury type hearts. I have this Stampin' Up! pleated ribbon. They have a whole bunch of really pretty pleated ribbons in their newest collections. And I think I bought all four colors that it comes in and I really love this red. It's just the perfect red. It looks great with the uh, crepe paper, paper heart collection, papers and things like that, all kinds of things. So I pulled that out, I might incorporate that. And for my stamps, I pulled out several older stamps that I have on hand. These are from Studio Calico. I thought the love would be cute maybe stamped inside of a heart. The same thing, this is a more recent one from Studio Calico. The little XOXO would be cute somewhere in a heart. I also have last month's Studio AE stamp set from Technique Tuesday. And I wanted to use the Love You So So Much. Stamp that right underneath the sweet on my tag. And then right above the suite, I have this new stamp set from Studio Calico, um, just released here with our last, um, the last, this last month. And this is a really great stamp set. This is the, I believe it's the Epic, hmm try to see if it says. I'm almost certain this is the Epic stamp set and I love, it's it's kind of geared towards Project Life with all these great words and the little frame here that's perfectly sized for the ins journaling card inserts and all that stuff, but you can customize it and I just think it's so fun. And the word seriously here I thought would be a fun addition to my title so I could put seriously sweet, love you so, so much. So that's kind of my plan here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting my page together. So I'm just going to quickly speed through the trimming of my pattern papers and things like that. Um, that's not the most exciting thing to watch. Um, basically, all I'm doing is just trimming down my papers and laying out some of my elements and my pieces to make sure that I like how everything is coming together. This way, I can move it around, um, make sure that everything is looking good before I go ahead and add adhesive and commit to placing everything um, permanently on my page. And one thing I'd like to note about the fabric paper that I cut for the bottom of the page, just because it's fabric paper doesn't mean I have to do anything fancy with it. I love the design, so I cut part of it and am simply using it as pattern paper for my page. So don't be afraid to use those specialty papers just like you would a regular pattern paper. Next, I am running some paper through my Big Shot. Um, this is that fabric paper and I actually ran it through wrong the first time so I do go ahead and run it through right. Um, by wrong, it isn't really wrong. Um, the pattern just wasn't 
going the direction that I wanted it to for those hexagons. And I am die cutting some hexagons out of the two inch Sizzix hexagon die. And I'm cutting them from some of the text paper, the Amy Tangerine fabric paper, and also one of the crepe paper pattern papers. So um, I'm doing some of them in this two inch, and then this is the smaller one and a half, I believe, inch hexagon die, and I thought it would look really nice using a contrast paper in the center of some of the hexagons. I kind of want that random homemade, handmade feel to my page. I have that hand stitch tag by Amy Tangerine, which these are exclusive to two peas in a bucket. And I wanted to include, these hexagons are perfect because um, they also, this shape is popular like in quilting and things like that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my, the rest of my title and my subtitle to this tag to really dress it up and customize it and make it my own. So I'm using this Allie Edwards stamp from the mm, January Studio AE stamp set, which is kind of love themed, good for, great for Valentine's Day, but for any type of page where you want a love theme type, um, page going on or project going on, I guess I should say. So I, and then I use that stamp from the Studio Calip set, the Epic stamp set that's good for Project Life. But again, word stamps like these can go for so many different types of pages and projects. Okay, what I like to do when I am attaching some ribbon underneath a pattern paper, like I am here, so just that pretty little pleat is showing underneath, because I generally like to really secure that with a sewing machine so it never moves, I like to use an adhesive that doesn't gum up my machine. So I used a different adhesive for that than what I use to attach things to my page when I don't want them to move. So I'm using my Glue Arts Pro Glider to attach like my tag and things that I'm not gonna sew through and I'm using the Plus Glue adhesive, which isn't quite as strong. It is a great adhesive and I use it for a lot of the same things, but it is a completely different adhesive and I can sew through it without ruining my sewing machine, gumming up the needle on my sewing machine. So I'm just removing some of that adhesive from this fabric paper. I love that the fabric paper is adhesive backed. It makes attaching it to your project so much easier. So I'm simply just attaching those and you, then using a little adhesive to attach the pattern paper, smaller hexagons on top or wherever on my page. Because that is fabric paper, I kind of feel like it needs to be secured a little bit better than just using adhesive. I probably could have used my Glue Arts adhesive and it would have been just fine. But where I'm going for that homemade feel for this page anyway, I went ahead and sewed those in place, just sewed a little line there across most of the hexagons on my page to secure them in place permanently so I didn't have to worry about them moving anywhere. So here you can see where I'm attaching my strips to my background paper. Sorry, I got my head in the way because I wanted to line that up perfectly. Where I'm applying my that I like to use my Glue Arts adhesive. I never used to switch out my adhesives, but as I've gone on here a little bit, I've realized that it makes a huge difference what adhesives I use. So I kind of have several um, that I consider my go-to adhesives, and these are a couple of my very favorites. Now that I have kind of got the top part of my page in place, I'm going to go ahead and attach the bottom part. I just, again, took that ad adhesive backing off the fabric paper. That way I didn't have to use any other kind of adhesive. I've printed out my journaling on some cream cardstock, and I'm just going to tuck that underneath my photo collage, get it lined up. And I did purposely, um, I measured those last photos there on the right side. I wanted it to line up with the where they're blocked off 
where so where the little white lines are. Um, I do that on purpose because I think that it looks much nicer to my eye. So sometimes those little tiny things like that make all the difference when you're working on a project. Right here where my page intersects the top from the bottom, the photo collage from the title and all the embellishments going on up top, I'm going to add a little strip, or sticker strip, I guess. This is from the Crate Paper Pattern Hearts Collection, and it's red, where I've got the red going up top and a few red embellishments everywhere else, and then I had a lot of gray and cream right there in the center. I really wanted to bring that red to the center of my page to keep your eye moving down. And then I am going to add a little bit of cream lace here. Now you're think this is a boy page and not I normally don't use things like that on my boy pages, but I'm going to show you how this works. I'm using this heart border here and it just happens to be the right width to go right over the center of that. So you only see a little bit of that cream lace sticking out the top and the bottom. And it just adds another layer and dimension to the page, and it really draws your eye to the design, I think. So it's not like overly girly. This is kind of a love-themed page anyway, so I think that it really matches the theme and style. I forgot to add a little bit of stamping here. I was going to add this one word from the Studio Calico Epic stamp set and I had forgotten to add that, so I went ahead and added it right there. Now I'm taking some of my tape, and I'm just adhering it over this October afternoon text paper, not really doing a nice, neat job or anything like that. I just want to smooth it out there. And then I'm going to use my My, my, my Favorite Things die, the heart die, and run it through my machine. It didn't really matter what paper I used there. I just wanted, needed a scrap of something to cover it with that tape. So then I've got these nice layered tape hearts, which is really fun. I love the look of this. I think it would be fun to do with all kinds of tape. I kind of did mine monochromatic just because I, I tend to like that look more, but I think it would be fun to do with multiple colors, um, with any kind of tapes. Just like the scrap hearts I did several weeks ago, this is another great way to use your supplies to make custom embellishments for your pages. I'm at the point now where I can add my finishing touches and embellishments. So I have a few brads and things like that. I am gonna go ahead and stamp this love stamp from an older Studio Calico stamp set that was included in one of their kits. I'm going to use some red ink to stamp that right in the center of this hexagon. And then I'm just using a little adhesive to attach this smaller heart that came from that same die, my, the My Favorite Things die. I'm going to attach the other heart here kind of up in the top right of the page. I have pulled out several brads just trying to figure out what I like the best and I decided to go with the little red heart. I think these are old making memories brads. I've had them in my stash forever and I think I'm about out of them. I just love these heart brads. I tend to use them here and there all the time. And I decided ultimately not to use that other brad that I had and I was kind of playing around with. And I thought I might stamp something down there and I ended up not doing it. I didn't like that either. I'm going to secure my tag to my page with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, and then I have some little stickers here from Cosmo Cricut that I can add my date. One thing that I've found um, through the years is that I really like when I make sure and add the date to my pages so I don't have to guess when the photos were taken or when the memory happened or event happened or anything like that. So it's really important to me to always add my date to my pages. So with those last few embellishments, the page is finished. For more information on the supplies used to create this page, please visit my blog at www.nicolemcgork.typepad.com on February 8th, 2012. And make sure to subscribe for more weekly scrapbook page tutorials, and we will see you next week. Thanks for watching.